The Prime Minister of New Zealand has gone to Christchurch where a huge wildfire has forced hundreds of people to flee their homes. A state of emergency has been declared in the country's second largest city and also the neighbouring district. Several homes have already been destroyed. A pilot was killed while battling the blaze. Virginia Langerberg reports. In the hilly suburbs on the outskirts of Christchurch, flames light up the night sky. Hundreds of residents have been evacuated and a state of emergency declared in the city and the neighbouring district of Selwyn. At least 11 homes have already been lost. About 450 homes have been evacuated, so we equate that to around about 900 to 1,000 people. The fire broke out in two separate places on Monday in the dry hills south of Christchurch before merging into one blaze which now covers about 1,800 hectares. As 130 firefighters on the ground try to get the upper hand on the blaze, they're being assisted by 14 helicopters and three aircraft, while the military has also been deployed to provide water tankers and other personnel. Their efforts are being helped by an increase in humidity, although strong winds continue to fan the flames. Authorities are warning locals not to leave their escape plans too late, while those evacuated wait anxiously. We've been up pretty much all night since we got evacuated and keeping an eye on it. My neighbours up the hill are absolutely terrified because, you know, they're surrounded by forest and gorse and long dry grass, so they are very, very nervous. For now, the only known human casualty, a helicopter pilot who died in a crash while fighting the blaze on Tuesday. Virginia Langerberg, BBC News.